Hey, welcome back. We got another Sudoku for everybody here. Uh, it is a, as you can see, a four by four. So I always like to quip that four by fours are easy. And then I get into some of them and they're like, they kick your butt. Same with six by sixes. Sometimes they're not quite as easy as you think they are, but we're going to get into this one and see what happens. So this one is called Forcing Lines by Intrinsic Nerd. And let's get onto these rules and see where we can go. So we've got normal Sudoku rules apply, and it's a four by four. So it's every row, column, and two by two box it contains the digits one through four once each. The gray line is a palindrome. So this one right here, which means uh, the line has the values in the same order, red forwards and backwards. So whatever, however you read it this way is the same as you read it that way. The magenta lines are Renban lines, which are these two. They contain consecutive digits in any order. So if this was a, let's say this was a one, two, three, this could be one, two, three, something like that. Uh, the values in the cell in the marked diagonal add up to the shown value, which is this. So these digits equal 11. And cells separated by a V sum to five. Not all these are given. So these, all of these, once you add these two digits together, equals five. And those are the rule sets. So let's uh let's dive into this one and see if it gives us any trouble so usually i would start with these because they severely limit the number of digits that could go into them but since this is a four by four it actually doesn't limit them whatsoever which is somewhat interesting so now typing these in will that do anything for me is the question and did I put my phone on mute? I did. Thank you. So what do we got? So let's look at these Ren bands, I guess. So we know this Ren band has to have three digits on it. There's only four total that we can use. So that means that we have to have a two and a three on this Ren band. So it's either one, two, three, or it's two, three, four. Those are the two options. So this can never be two or three which means this can never be two or three because of the V. These have to equal five, which they do, which means this is a two, three, and this is the two, three, okay? Well, that two, three looks right at this two, three, so that has to be a one, four. We've already got the one, four, so these have to be two, threes, and this has to be one, four. Now that we've got a one, four on the V, we can do the same thing we did on the top there and say that these have to be one, fours. Now, this one, on the other hand, well, duh, let's look at the V clue. I almost passed it up again. This has to be 2, 3, because that's 2, 3, so this is not 1, 4. So we know on this Ren band, because it's a resale uh, Ren band, that it also has to have the 2 and the 3. We know we've got a 1, 4 up here, as I take a little segue away from my Ren band logic. So we know one of these has to be 1 or 4. The other one has to be two or three. So we've got a one, four here already. So if this was the one, four, and this was the two, three, this would be two, three. And it always has to be two, three, actually, because if that's one, four, that's the one, four. This is two, three. This is still two, three. So we've got the two, three. And we could have been smart and done it the easy way and just look at this row here. But why would we want to do that? That's no fun. So we have to have a one, four, and a two, three on here. Does that do anything for us right now? And I'm not sure it does. Because essentially all of these digits now are 1, 2, 3, 4, but they all would anyway because it's a 4x4 four four puzzle that we can't differentiate. So the question then becomes, does this 11 do anything for us? And we might have to start coloring to see which ones, if these perhaps are the same digit. So let's not go quite there yet. So if, let's say, let's take a, a trip down one possible way of this. If this was the one four digit here, that would mean this would have to be equal to five and these would have to equal six. The only way to do that would be to have the four and the two. Now, if this was the two, three digit, we couldn't quite tell because we can't differentiate right now between what's one, four, or two, three. So maybe 
coloring is going to be a good way to go. So let's do that. So this 1-4, we're going to say the 1-4s are yellow and blue. So these have to be that way. Uh, well, this means this has to be blue and this has to be yellow because this is a palindrome line. Which means this is yellow. There has to be a blue one four up here, and there has to be a blue one four up here. So we do know now that these are actually the same digit, which could be useful. But let's continue on our two three color. What are we going to do with these? Orange and purple, maybe? Or purple and green? Uh, does purple show well? Yeah, that's fine. We'll do purple and green. So this has to be purple. Uh, we don't know what these two are. There has to be a green two three in here somewhere uh, can we determine where that one is we know one of these has to be a purple two three but we once again we don't know where that two three is just yet so maybe we'll go back to this so we know that these are the same digit can they ever be a one they would have to be a that would mean these two would equal two total and we need nine more how the heck would you get nine more from two and three? You wouldn't. So these have to all be four then. So let's put those in. That means these are ones. Let's get those in. Now, so our fours are all done. Our ones are not figured out just yet. So we know on this Ren band, we've got one, two, three. So these have to be from one, two, three. I don't know if this is the great way to go about it, but. So one of these has to be one, which means one of these has to be one. Eh. Let's go back to this 11. So we've got eight now. And we have to have three more. So that does actually tell us what we have to do. Because if this was a three, we're dead in the water, right? So this has to be the one. Refraining from obvious reference there. So that's the one. These are now two threes. So we now we know we have nine. Four and four, one is nine. So this is going to have to be the two. So that puts a three here, two here, three here, two here, three here. We get a boot, deet, doot, 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 doot two, and three. And there we go. Hey, quick and easy. Not bad. It had good logic, though. It wasn't like it was a pushover uh, four by four. You, you really had to kind of use all aspects of these uh, clues to get it to work out, and you had to kind of jump around. At least I did. Maybe it's a, there's a smoother way to go about it where you wouldn't have to do so. But anyway, I thought it was a great little puzzle. Uh, thank you, Intrinsic Nerd, for making it. Once again, that was called Forcing Lines. Hope you all enjoyed it. If so, let me know in whichever way you see fit. And we will uh, have another Sudoku up here in not too long. So see y'all guys then.